Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this tech talk in which we will focus on cash flow forecasting, definitely one of the core topics of interest at the moment. My name is Alex Fleischmann and I'm the head of international market development at TIPCO. Our treasury information platform TIP is one of the most widely used cash flow forecasting solutions in the German speaking markets. And in this session, I want to focus on what a modern cash flow forecasting solution should offer you in order to support you in creating both timely and accurate forecasts based on the valuable data already stored in your ERP, such as the accounts payables, accounts receivable ledgers, among other items available in your ERP systems. Today, this is more relevant than ever, as I'm sure many of you currently face the challenge of needing to perform regular updates to your cash flow forecast, probably more frequently than ever before. You are tasked with scenario analyses, etc. And at some point, let's face it, Excel, Microsoft Excel, including manual uploads and downloads of data from source systems, simply doesn't cut it anymore. We will later take a look at the tried and tested cash flow forecasting solution in our treasury information platform tip. But in case you've never heard of our treasury information platform tip before, let's just take a very quick look at what it is and what it does. Well, tip is a web-based solution made up of various modules, among them cash visibility and cash flow forecasting, but tip of course, also supports you in other areas like group-wide bank account management, guarantee management, as well as FX risk management by offering smart digital solutions, smart digital workflows to support all of these core treasury processes. And on top of that, our treasury reporting offering also permits you to create fast and flexible reports based on all the data in the system at the click of a button. And our core approach depicted here on the right is that we want to use already existing data as much as possible. We make this data accessible to you by putting in place automated connectors to all relevant data sources that can be one or several ERP systems to interface AP, AR ledgers, or the data, etc. But that can also be a fully fledged TMS in case you already have a TMS solution in place, but maybe lacking some proper ca cash flow forecasting functionality. And uh, that could also be other source or target systems like trading platforms, market data providers, etc. We currently serve more than 130 international clients multinational corporations from various industries, among them the likes of British American Tobacco, Lufthansa, Deutsche Post, DHL, and many more. But now, let's take a quick look at the factors that make or break a timely and accurate cash flow forecast from our experience. First, your solution needs to properly address what we would consider the basics, things like providing you with a flexible forecasting horizon. At the moment, you may be looking at a short-term cash flow forecast, maybe 12 or 13 weeks uh, of forecasting horizon. But if now or in the future, you want to expand that, you want to add a 12-month rolling forecast, your system should support you in that and make that transition or that addition as easy as possible. Flexible time intervals no matter if you want to focus on a monthly, a weekly, or a daily forecasting interval, for example, 12 weeks on a weekly basis, the system should allow you to drill up and down as smoothly as possible between these different intervals. Flexible structure and categories, whenever you want to change your forecast, whenever you want to add a category, rename a category, etc., you should be able to do that yourself and you should not have to uh, book a few hours of your uh, system vendor, uh, which will be costly and which will create uh, additional work. That should be as easy and flexible as possible. Similarly, 
it may be highly relevant to you to be able to create different views on the forecast. If you think about different business units, different divisions within your company, uh, not everybody will want to see the exact same forecasting structure, but you may want to differentiate between what the individual entities, individual business units should be able to see. So the system should support that as well. The forecast should be fully integrated with your cash position and your existing credit facilities, of course. And last but not least, ideally the forecast is on currency by currency basis. So it should be easily possible to forecast cash flows in the respective currencies in which you expect them. The basics. Factor number two, highly important, efficiently making use of available data sources. In the short term, and here we're talking about typically a maximum of 60 to 90 days, and I would say 90 days is definitely the maximum, typically depending on the, uh, the payment terms on client and supplier side, we are looking at AP and AR ledgers, typically interfaced from the ERP system. So your cash flow forecasting solution should provide automated connectors to your ERP, to interface data from AP and AR ledgers. But also, that's not all that you can find in the ERP. Most of our clients also manage their sales and their purchase orders in, their, in, in a special module uh, within their ERP system. So we can use them as well, interface them as well, because typically they will cover a more medium term time span of 60 days and up. And in addition, if we're looking at a at an even longer term time horizon, then many of our clients also factor in information from P&L forecasts, budgets they created. So the system should also be flexible in supporting adding and interfacing this kind of data as well. And last but not least, smart assistance. You want the system to help you as much as possible when it comes to ensuring and increasing data quality. Things like automated plausibility checks, highlighting outliers and discrepancies is very useful. Making use of mapping and distribution rules allows you to take known patterns in the forecast data into account, like for example, the frequency of payment runs, client payment behavior, etc. Historical distributions based on historical actual cash flows can be very useful uh, when it comes to uh, creating a baseline forecast based on last year's data. And of course, predictive analytics, one of the hot topics at the moment, already helps some corporate treasurers out there to manage and improve the forecast quality significantly compared to a more conventional manual way of forecasting. And one feature that is highly valued by our customers is a flexible cash flow simulation engine that I will quickly show you at the end of our session. But enough talk. I propose let's use the remaining couple of minutes of this session to take a quick look uh, of a quick demo of our treasury information platform. Okay, here we are in our treasury information platform tip. And the solution you see here on my screen can be online, ready and accessible for your group-wide subsidiaries via the web within 24 hours. And within a couple more days, we can integrate with your ERP to pull in all relevant APAR data to assist you in the forecasting process. But now let's dive right in. Here we are in our cash flow forecasting module. This is where all data from your AP and AR ledgers, but also sales and purchase order data are automatically interfaced using, for example, our SAP integration package. In this demo here, we are looking at a 13-week rolling forecast of one of our subsidiaries, Tipco UK Limited. This is a sample forecast structure here on the left, made up of different inflow and outflow categories. And with just one mouse click, I can drill down from the weekly intervals we see here down to daily level to take a look at the current week's forecast, for example. And here in my forecast category collections, AR from SAP, the small blue triangles tell me that there is line item 
detailed information from SAP in the background. And with just another mouse click, I can take a look at this data. I see items like my individual invoice amounts, the respective currencies, my client numbers, my client names, invoice numbers, any comments captured with the invoice, the posting date, the invoice date, the net due date, etc. even tax flags, tax flags, sorry. So all of this detailed information is available in here. You can even export that into Excel, but for now, let's leave it at that. And all these potentially tens or hundreds or thousands of individual invoice slips make up your subsidiaries forecast and the different subsidiary forecasts will consolidate into your group wide cash flow forecast. Of course, what is interfaced from the ERP can also be manually adjusted if necessary. For example, if I have even more timely information from accounting or the purchasing department, for example, I can simply capture an adjustment. For example, I know that uh, the euro inflows will actually be 50,000 less than expected. All it takes is a click to capture the adjustment cash flow. And I can even capture a comment. I already captured one in here. This is due to X, Y, Z as informed by accounting. So this is very a very useful feature to inform group treasury. They see which user provided the comment at what time. So it's even easier for them to analyze what's going on. As you can see, the forecast is fully integrated with the actual starting cash position. And down here at the bottom, I also see that the forecast is fully integrated with any existing credit facilities. In this example, my UK subsidiary has credit facility locally of 15 million pounds. So I can immediately identify how, based on the forecast, uh, the subsidiary's liquidity will develop over the next couple of weeks. And in this fashion, the forecast is updated by all group-wide subsidiaries and is consolidated to a group-wide cash flow forecast. And based on all the data collected, it is then very easy to also perform scenario analyses and simulations. Let's take a quick look at how we can do this. We are here in Microsoft Excel, which is directly linked to our TIP database. So based on all the data collected in TIP, we can now perform simulations. On the top right, we have the timeline where we can select what time horizon we're looking at. Let's start with the eight weeks of May and June, for example. On the left, the diagram depicts the planned financial status based on my most recent cash flow forecast in black, as well as the simulated financial status that will be based on the settings, the scenarios, the simulations I perform in here. At the moment, the two are still identical because I have not yet started with my simulation, but that will change in just a few seconds. For example, let's just take a look at one example. If I want to simulate that I will receive my client payments, my collections later due to the current crisis situation, I can easily do that. I select my forecast category, collections. Here is the planned development of my collections at the moment. And if I now say these will arrive 15 days later, then this will affect my simulated planned financial status over the next couple of weeks. If I now go on to say that payments will not only arrive later, but they will also be less than expected, for example, by 20%, again, I can immediately tell the effect on my overall financial status. I could then go on to limit the, these scenarios and simulations to only certain companies, one or several of my subsidiaries, or I could only apply them to a certain time period. And I could then go on to do the same for my accounts payables, for tax uh, outflows, for example, for HR payments, personal payments, et cetera, et cetera. Unfortunately, we have already reached the end of this bite-sized tech talk. I hope that uh, what you saw in the last couple of minutes sparked your interest. If so, 
we are very much looking forward to getting in touch with you and learning more about your particular cash flow forecasting requirements and the challenges you face. So please reach out to us, either send me an email directly or take a look at our website where we'll also find additional information, case studies and webinars, not only revolving around cash flow forecasting, but also all the other topics we cover like FX risk management, guarantee management, treasury reporting, bank account management, etc., etc. So this is it for this session. Thanks a lot for taking a look. All the best, take care and goodbye.